Yeah, hello guys, what is up? Today, I'm going to be doing a review on a Doctor Who figure this time. So, this figure is the natural Ood, like the Series 4 version of the Ood, so I'm actually going to go on the details. So, yeah, the face does look like the Ood, of course, like in the show, like you can see a red eye there, and another one there, and the rinks, wrinkled parts, and tiny ears. You've actually got like, these brown spots on the back of its head, like you see in the show. Yeah, and then you got some more stuff going on here, and then that's always the back part, and then the top, which is really good. Yeah, there's those things that he's got protruding out of his mouth instead of a nose. There's the holes so you can put that thing in. Yeah, I have got the accessories right here. And then you've got, you know, that thing that he wears in the episode, you know, Planet of the Ood, that kind of dress or hoodie or coat thing, I don't know, because they're on that cold planet. Like some more wrinkly sleeves there, like going on there, and the, like the gloves and the hands. Like on the same there, like crease and wrinkle material effect. Like there's some, yeah, there's a bit of the trousers underneath and the boots. Like look really nice and detailed, like going on there. Yeah, and the back has got a bit more bump and crease and wrinkle material effect going on then. There's like a strap there to keep the outfit on there, so that's detail incredibly well, so yeah. I think overall for detail, this figure actually looks really good for what, you know, it's detail it's meant to be like. So, I'll flip over to accessories now, so... So this thing goes in his mouth, just like that. Like, as you can see, I'm just putting it, putting the accessory, which is the Ood Orb, into his... Come on, thing. It's hard to do it like properly. You have to kind of just get it in there. It's kind of annoying. There we are. So that's what the Ood looks like. The orb thing that he has looks really good. As seen in the show, of course, looks really cool. That looks pretty nifty looking, doesn't it, on display? So yeah. I'll, I'll just take it out so I can just get into articulation. So, um, the head, this time around on this figure, uh, unlike the other figure, can do a full 360 at the head. as a full 360 degree on the arm. You can also bend at the elbow a weeny bit. And then that way, there's no articulation on the arm, is there? There's a full articulation at the wrist. For some reason, my hand's loose on this figure. There's probably no full articulation at the top of the leg, but there is a slight bend there because it's restricted by the uh, thing he's wearing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you can't do that, but they can slightly move outwards that way a tiny bit, and you can't really sit him down properly either. So, I think that pretty much wraps it up for today's video, guys. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Please make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, and turn the bell on, and yeah, I'll see you next video, and goodbye, peace.